Arika Misha, and I just got off of work, and I'm tired, and I don't feel like cooking. I'm just keeping it real. I don't feel like cooking, but you know what? You gotta feed your kids. So anyway, all right, y'all, I'm doing something quick. Doing something real quick. Let me say hey to y'all, hey. Let me Hey y'all, it is Arika Misha. I just got off of work, y'all, so y'all know I got the makeup on and all that done, so I figured I'd say hey, what's up to y'all. Shouts out to everybody out there. Okay, uh, y'all ain't coming to see me. Okay, okay. Let's get back to the, right, let's get back to the meal. All right, hold on, y'all. <laughs> oh, y'all know I'm crazy. I'm tired, too. All right, y'all, let's get into this quick meal. I got my pans out. Got the aluminum foil already on the pans, so you ain't got to do no cleaning. Spray my pans with a little Pam cooking oil. All right, and tonight, I got some Publix Extra Crispy Crinkle Cut French Fries. Yes, I like these. They be nice and crunchy. Not too crunchy, because I don't like my fries too crunchy. And I got some, let me move these fries out the way. I got some Foster Farms corn dogs. Oh yeah. Them Foster Farm corn dogs be buzzing now. Now you now see this this the trick. You gotta get the honey. You gotta get the honey crunchy. Cause you know, that gives a little the corn flavor, you know, the bread flavor, have a little honey taste, a little sweet taste. Them the ones I like. I like the plain ones too, but Anytime I grab corn dogs, I'm getting the ones with the honey. All right, y'all. So let's get everything panned up. I already got my stove preheated. So I'm going to put the corn dogs and the fries in at the same time. Bam. So while I got the fries and the corn dogs cooking, um, I can be back there taking my clothes off, getting situated. Y'all know what I mean. That's too much information. But I'm just saying, getting situated while I pop the food in the oven. Pop, pop, pop. So, And as y'all can see, the little corn dogs come in a little bag like this. So I'm just going to, I want me to, I'm hungry. Say what y'all want to say. I'm going to eat. All right, so I'm going to do two for me, two for my oldest. And the little ones, y'all know the little ones, they eat like little little rats, little bugs. Little, little, um, little rabbits. That's how they eat. They kind of nibble throughout the day. That's how my girls is. Alright, so I'm just still going to fix them two, and if they don't want the other one, they can still have it tomorrow for lunch. You know, heat it up for lunch. I like to do that. When I cook a little quick meals, I like to do extra, so you know, so the girls got something extra for the next day. Alright, two for me. Two for my oldest. Alright, two for my other daughter. And two for my other daughter. <laughs> daughter. This is my New York accent, y'all. Daughter. Okay, all right. And I like putting them like this, y'all. All designed. One up, one down, one up. Child, don't, don't mean that. I just do it that way because it look cute and fancy. All right. Let's get our corn dogs out the way. Now, you know what I'm going to do to these corn dogs? Now, I'm going to spray the corn dogs with Pam. Now, once again, y'all know what I say. The oil is to help your food cook. That's why I spray it with oil. Help my food cook. And I'm going to do the fries the same way. Alright, so let me hurry up. Try and put the fries on top of the puree. Let me get them cut open. Alright, and our stove is ready and preheated. Preheat your oven. That's key. Make sure that stove nice and hot so your food can get done. Alright, don't be trying to put your food in all early. Yeah. Oh, that's a good word of the day. That's a good word. That just hit my spirit. That's a good word of the day. Wait. Don't be trying to do stuff early. Wait. Be patient. Ooh-wee, child. I'm talking to myself on that one. Ooh-wee. Wait. Wait, I say on the Lord. Wait on them. Stop being so impatient, y'all. We got to wait. Sometimes, ooh, it be getting hard to wait. Ooh-wee. I'm dealing with a situation right now. Ooh, sometimes it get hard to wait. But I'm going to wait. I'm waiting on the Lord. Show up and show out. So, all right, y'all. Like I tell y'all, when I be talking, word of the day be for me, too. Shucks. But, all right, y'all. Y'all see, I got the fries. Now, I always like to make sure my fries are not on top of each other. I like them to be nice and flat so they cook right. Y'all wonder why y'all fries don't be cooking right, they be burnt. Come on, y'all. All right. And I know I want me some French fries. Whole lot of them. Y'all, sometimes I be picking the big ones out of the bag. Y'all do that? I be picking the big ones out. I do, for real. I be picking them up. Like, if I get a bunch of little ones, I move them and put a bunch of big ones on there. Ain't I talking them little fries? We'll eat them last, child. We'll eat them last. All right, so. 
Let me get my hands washed real quick. Woo wee. Yes, this is a nice, quick, through the week meal. I'm tired. I don't work all day. I'm tired, child. I'm just keeping it real. I am tired. Corn dogs and french fries. You don't get no better than that? I'm going to spray my fries with the oil so the oil can help your fries cook. The oil helps your fries cook. Just like it's going to do our corn dogs. Okay, so I got my oven preheated to 400. Yes, 400 degrees. And I'm going to go ahead and stick these in. Now, key. I'm going to put the fries at top on the top rack and I'm going to put the corn dogs at the bottom. That way. Because y'all know these frozen fries are going to take a little longer than these corn dogs. But you know, the corn dogs are a little frozen too. But that's why they're going to be on the rack, the bottom rack. Next to the heat, see? See what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta even your heat out. Even your heat out. Disperse it. Disperse. That's a fancy word. All right, y'all. Y'all know I'm extra silly, especially when I'm tired. All right, whew. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven. And you know what, I'm gonna add a little, cause these are plain fries. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my French fry seasoning, Supreme French fry seasoning. Y'all see it. I got this in the dollar 25 tree. Be corrected. Stand corrected. It is no longer the dollar tree. It is the dollar 25 tree. So hopefully by the time y'all see this video, y'all be done seeing my dollar 25 tree haul. So, and this is for like, you know, just, you can season anything with it, but it's a French fry seasoning y'all. French fry seasoning. Don't be trying to season other stuff with this French fry seasoning. So, I put it on some chicken one time. It tastes all right. It tastes it okay. Y'all ever do that? Like when your season get all stiff in the jaw, close it up, bang it on the counter. That loosen it right on up. I know I ain't the only one. So I'll sprinkle a little bit of this French fry seasoning on these fries. Cause y'all know these just plain fries. I don't want to do too much now. Don't do too much. Stay away from all that salt, y'all. <laughs> Stay away from all that salt. Now I'm putting some parsley on here. Now I'm putting parsley on them. Ooh, making them fancy through the week. Fancy meals, child. Fancy. Let me show y'all the fries up close. With the season on it in the um in the parsley. Ooh, the fancy. Fancy through the week. I ain't gonna put it on the corn dogs now. Parsley can go ahead on. He's not gonna go on the corn dogs now. He doing too much. I'm not gonna put him on the corn dogs. Alright, y'all. Let me get this in the oven. And then the next thing y'all gonna see is me bringing them out. Bringing them out. Y'all know how I do. So all right, y'all, quick through the week meal. Let me zoom y'all into them corn dogs. Yes, corn dogs. I put everything in for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Put everything in there. Join all y'all in there. Everybody cook together. Everybody get along. Everybody need to get along. And y'all see, let me show y'all this corn dog right here. See, I cut this corn dog at the tip to make sure it was nice and hot in the inside. Y'all got to check your corn dogs now. They still have frozen. You got to check them. I'm just, you know, telling y'all what works for me. And when you see your, your corn dog starting to bust on the side, oh boo boo, it's done. It's done. All right, moving over here to the fries. They look good. They season up all good. They look good. They taste good. They is good, y'all. And these are already the crunchy fries, so yeah, they good. I think I probably ate a little bit too many of the fries. That's all right. Anyway, y'all, this is a quick through the week meal idea. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Eric Amisha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like. Comment and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media, the Rika Misha guys. And don't forget that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.